Now that's how you start a video game. So, as evidenced by that title card, this is Trailmakers, made from Flashbulb Games, uh, which comprise of Rare, plus Press Play, and IO Interactive uh, developers who've kind of come together to form their new studio and make this. And man, this is a lot of fun. Uh, so this is kind of like the tutorial area and the kind of basic card that I've built. Um, this is the expedition mode where um, there's kind of more of a traditional linear progression. Um, right. So what I've done just there is repair and any time that you break off a piece of your car or something like that, you have the chance to repair. Uh, sometimes if you submerge yourself or take too much damage to where you explode, that option is not available. Um, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, there's collectibles, but the collectibles serve as progression. Um, they unlock uh, more things to build um, to allow you to, to make more complex machinery than just a car with like a bunch of engines on it. Uh, so I've unlocked Jump Island. And I'll pull up the map here. Um, so this is where I started and anything that has these gates on them you can uh, teleport yourself to. So you can see me on the map here. This is the new area that I've unlocked. We'll get out for a second. So you can kind of walk around and do whatever you want. So I've got like a hot rod engine on the front and the back. Um, these two engines are like the, the second most powerful engine you get. And uh, so I've got a basic model here. Let me actually show what the building looks like. So everything is moddable. So every little piece, uh, similar to Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. So you can pull off parts here and go through the things that you've unlocked. Um, you know, you can add like massive bricks here, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. But the point is, is that you have all this customization available to you pretty much from the get go. Put my tire back on. Oh man. There we go. i probably drop this on my head. No. I have not made anything beyond this that, that is actually worth showing off. I've, I've got some kind of failed experiments. Uh, so there's an example of death and um, well, I'm respawned at the last checkpoint that I went over. So I'm gonna try to do this again and hopefully I don't die. There we go. Nope. Uh, death is of little to no consequence, but, you know, it's kind of a bummer. Um, so long as you've hit a checkpoint recently, you're not going to lose any kind of substantial progress. So as you explore, there's things to discover. So I ran into a bunch of bolts. Whoa. If you flip yourself over, you can do a quick repair. I haven't added any jets. Man, I'm dying way more than I thought I would. Um, I actually, I don't think I've unlocked jets. I think that's that next piece over there. I'm gonna get some more speed here. Uh, this game looks really cool. I really like the look of this game. There we go. Oh yeah, I did pick this up. So, uh, suspension springs um, will let you 
uh, obviously put suspension springs on your system. So, like how you saw me making that jump, the whole point of why I was dying was because I was hitting too hard. With the suspension springs, that will actually uh, cushion it so that I don't blow up when I take these big jumps. The game is uh, playable online or off. This is just the single player mode. Repair, just make sure everything's good. Oh, just missed it. So yeah, flipping over, no big deal. Uh, you could probably, you know, just build like a, a, a vehicle that like no matter what side it's on, it can be drivable. So if it's upside down, it still goes. Um, the There doesn't seem to be any kind of significant limitations that are going on in this game. I don't think I'm gonna make this. Nope. Uh-uh. Oof. So yeah, this, this game's about showing you kind of uh, everything that you need to to progress so um, power cores are kind of the, the big um, things that you can attach to a vehicle like uh, the engines are considered like a power core and they uh, like putting in a raw engine uses up two power cores that kind of thing the additional blocks like you know your seats and your wheels and stuff it doesn't care about that get over there, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. I'll try what this does. So I can... This is Jump Island. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. What do we got? Ooh, raw jet engine. Perfect. So, we can uh, do a little building real, real quick. Let's see if I can get something cool going with a raw jet engine. So we're gonna take this off and yeah. Put that on there, there. Oops, wrong one. Okay bad boy there. This is quick and dirty. This is not uh, kind of the pro proper way to do this. Um, because I took that engine off, like, now I'm much slower. So actually, what I can do to correct it... Um, let's see how much... Oop, I don't know. Two regular engines. Oh, I used too many power cores. Let me just put two regular engines on. Alright. Alright, so I got a little bit of power here. I probably need to widen my turning a little bit now. Let's make sure we go through this. So now I activate my jet booster. Oh, nice. Okay. That went pretty well. I, I didn't think either I was going to survive that or it was going to go wrong. Yeah, I definitely need to put like some suspension on because this thing's kind of dragging right now. Yeah, this being Jump Island, it's kind of looking for something a little more nuanced. So let's actually um, let's try this. Well, that doesn't look right at all. That's a... Okay. I 
I have such a hard time lining this up. Alright. I... Well, that's actually a whole lot better. Just putting those springs on the back. I do have some really tight turning that... It's a little too tight. Right? Because now I'm kind of ultra-wide in the back. Um, so, one thing to kind of take note is that you've got these... Um, God, what do they call them here? The steering hinge, yeah. Um, very important to have those, otherwise you're not going to be turning at all. Alright. Attach these here. Yeah. We'll go that wide. Not too wide, but wide enough. Whoa. There we go. That's not what I'm trying to do here, game. I'm so bad at this. Let me love you, game. Thank you. I guess I saw it for a second there. The game lets you make dumb mistakes. Like if it's like, okay, you want to make that? That's that's great. You can you can make that dumb thing if you want. All right, now we're in business here. Look at this. So I've got some good turning now. It's not too sharp where I'm kind of spinning myself out. So I don't find the expedition mode to be like restrictive or anything like that but if you are if you're looking for something that's kind of uninhibited uh, then sandbox mode is the way to go and I actually want to show that off here because the community has has made some cool stuff so we're gonna we're gonna back out here go to the main menu um, it's entirely possible that I could do this from expedition mode, but I know that I haven't unlocked a lot of things like uh, power cores and stuff like that, so I don't know if the blueprints that I've downloaded um, have actually, you know, uh, will allow me to do what I want to do with it. All right. So everything that I'm showing here is a uh, community uh, made. And I think this really showcases like all the crazy stuff you can do. Prince, do I have? Give ourselves a plane. Whoa. Like, I'm getting uh, Banjo Kazooie vibes, like, all about this, right? Uh, you should too. Just the kind of building planes and helicopters and just. Kind of anything that the game will let you make, you, you'll be able to make. And the blueprints are easy to save and share with friends. Um, Flashbulb Games ha actually has a website, a, a gallery to kind of show off your creations and even share them so that people like me who maybe can't quite 
make something as sophisticated as this or just someone in general who can't or doesn't want to spend the time to can then just download whatever they are looking for. Those are, that's not the, that's not that. All right. How do fly? Nope, that's, nope, 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 nope. That was the get out button. I don't know how to fly this thing. Oh, oh, that, nope. Okay, getting out. So that's a, that was a helicopter, and... The thing you've probably already seen me uh, not select is this curious little thing right here. Wrong button. I got out. I did. I did a bad thing. Let me try this again. So next wing. Like, how cool is this? I'm being terrible with it, but like, the fact that this can be made is just so cool. This game has only just entered Steam Early Access, and I really can't can't wait to see where things go with this. The things that people will create, the tools in which the developers will provide to make even more complex and uh, imaginative objects and vehicles uh, is really just exciting to me. Trailmakers is super exciting. It's only in its infancy, and watching this grow is going to be really something special. Thanks.